I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Dino Riders. Um, probably the older ones that grew up in the 80s. They were basically these G.I. Joes. Um, you know, little little sized G.I. Joes that rode on different kind of dinosaurs. Um, there was a cartoon about it. Apparently, the animated series first aired in 1988 and only 14 episodes were produced, three of which were produced on VHS for the United States. Um, so it wasn't a whole lot of episodes, but what came out of it was the glorious Dino Riders action figures, which if you collect action figures, they're tops. They're awesome. Dino Riders are great. I love Dino Riders. So since then, the only dinosaur-related thing I can think of is maybe when they did stuff with like Jurassic Park, um, until now. So I went into Walmart. I'm looking through the toy section. I come across... I'll bring out one of them. Primal Clash. Walmart exclusive, as you can tell by the sticker. And this is a Triceratops with a guy riding it and like a generator on the back. That's what I'm talking about. So, I was wild. So, on this episode, that's what we're talking about. Primal Clash, exclusively at Walmart. I bought... Almost the whole set. Uh, there was a saber toothed tiger that I don't have, and it kills me because I want it. Oh, I'm literally one, one away from the whole set. So I've got to find it. But uh, since I don't have it, we're going to do what we got. So we're going to go with this. So I'm not going to open them right now, but I am going to attach on to this video, me opening them. So the first part is me just gonna be telling you about them um, and showing them to you in the box, so you need the boxes, telling you a little bit about the prices. And then after that, we are going to open them. So let's see, see if I can give you some back info on these toys. I'm gonna start pulling them out. Primal Clash, dude, they're so cool. And like the guys that come with them are like little GI Joe guys. All right, Primal Clash. Like I said, they're exclusively at Walmart. They have, I don't know if they're going to do multiple waves or if this is the only wave they're going to do. Um, but what they've got is, they've got two of the, uh, like, commanders, which are, like, the bigger size scale dinosaurs. So, you've got Triceratops, Dino Commander, part of the Beast Taming Squad. Then you've got this one, which is like a mastodon, woolly mammoth type thing. Articulated action figure, beast taming squad. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna give you better uh, looks at them as well. So that's what the back of the box looks like. They both have the same matching box. Um, they tell a little bit of story. So here's the story of Primal Clash. It's the year 25XX. Super advanced technology let humanity bring back and live among dinosaurs and megafauna with dino control technology, machines, beasts, and humans working together. They were able to bring pollution down to almost zero. Oxygen levels raised flora and fauna grew in size and finally a peaceful and self-sustained world was achieved. All thanks to the supercomputer known as the Evolution. All right, the very apex of human technological achievements until the singularity, also known as the Cybergeddon, happened. Of course, everything's going great. Fauna is at immense sizes. Dinosaurs are alive, and we're getting along with them. Of course, something's got to go wrong, and that thing is called the Cybergeddon. Uh, the sentient evolution decimated humanity and enslaved all remaining living creatures, telepathically controlling dinosaurs and humans alike, creating the final impact. Military units specialized in hunting down humans and feral dinosaurs for total world domination. Small group of raiders escape, blah, blah, living on the run, blah, 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 and they begin the ultimate primal clash. All right, so the there's like good guys and there's bad guys. The good guys escaped, and they're in a battle now with the bad guys who telepathically control dinosaurs. I don't see anything coming of this story, so I don't think it matters. I don't see a TV show. 
or a cartoon coming. But I hope they do because these guys, these are the big boys. These are like 14 something, 14, 15 bucks at Walmart. They're awesome. So you've got the two big ones. Like I said, this one doesn't have a name. Yeah, it does. Mammoth. All right, it's just Mammoth. That's Mammoth. It's got some sick guns on the back. Got a little helmet on the front. As far as accessories go, the dude up here has a handgun and like a like a BR, Halo BR or something. So that's kind of cool. So Mammoth. Then you've got Triceratops. They're not really going for originality with the names here. Um, it's got like some kind of thing on the back here. Like I don't know. And the guy riding it has a knife, and I don't know if you can tell. When I open them up, they'll look a lot better. But uh, he's got like axes and stuff, and a pickaxe and like a saw blade or something. So you got Triceratops. All right, that's the only two like deluxe oversized fig figures that came out. So then we've got four of the like smaller scale. Um, like I said, I've got three of the four, didn't have the fourth. You've got this guy riding like a giant dodo bird. Uh, his name is, it's just called Titanus, okay? So you got Titanus here. Titanus has got a crossbow, a handgun, and like another BR. Kind of cool. He's got like a little chair on the back. I don't know. I guess when we open it up, we'll see. It looks like the weapons can be attached on the side too. So that's kind of cool. These guys are like, I think they're like $6.97 a piece. So not bad because you get like the dino and you get the person, you get some cool accessories and they're part of the beast taming squad as well. Um, this I think is one of the good guys. All right, next you've got this guy and he is riding a, all right, a raptor. He's riding a raptor. This, I don't know if this is a good guy or a bad guy. This is a good guy. Yeah, I think this is a good guy. Riding the raptor. He's got like a lasso on the side there. You've got some kind of weird gun with a knife on the front. Yeah, you got some kind of antenna or something. No, that's Raptor. And the, the last one that I've got, not the last one of the set, but the last one I've got is this guy. Pretty sure he's a bad guy. He's riding a Trimetrodon. He's got like some rocket boost things on the side, it looks like. Oh yeah, he's got like rocket launchers. Okay, and then these little things go inside. I'm not sure if they actually shoot or if they just sit in there, but when we open it up, we'll definitely see if it if it opens up. So that's kind of cool. All right. So just to recap, there's the three I've got. There's also one more. I don't know if you can tell. But there's a saber tooth tiger right there, and I'm so bummed. That's the last one I needed. Oh, so I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find the saber tooth tiger to get it, and I'll update this video. But that is the three there. Um, so you've got, just to recap, you've got Titanus. You've got Raptor. And you've got, oh, what's his name? Oh, Trimetrodon. Trimetrodon looks really cool. We're going to open all these up. We're going to have some fun with them. It's going to be great. So that's like the whole line but one. So we're going to open them all up, um, tell you a little bit more about them. So after this break, we'll be back and we'll start opening them up. All right. So the first one we opened up with Triceratops. Triceratops comes with the dude. We're going to go with the dude first. All right. So not sure if this is a good guy or a bad guy. kind of looks like it might be a bad guy. Um, I mean, he's got a lot of possibility. He feels kind of weak. Not going to lie. Um, he's got a knife here in his hand that actually will slide into his leg here. So you can actually put that in there. Um, I also saw this. This is an actual gun you can remove and put back in, which is kind of cool because at first looks, I thought that it was just for looks, you know, like an actual part of the model. But it's not. You can actually take that out. So, I mean, it's not bad. The legs feel a little bit loose. But other than that, like, the articulation is pretty good. You know, multiple points of articulation here. Um, so he came with, the di with some different accessories. So he had this axe right here that actually looks like it would spin, but it doesn't. 
Uh, then you got like the buzzsaw axe with the hammer on one side and you've got like a pickaxe. So not bad. Like you get three weapons. Um, I don't see any place to hold the weapons other than like if he's holding one in his hand, which is kind of loose when you put it in his hand. Honestly, it'll probably fall out. Um, the other ones might work better. Let's see. This one works a little bit better. Maybe it's just the one. The, the handle's just a little small on. And that one's really small. So that one's about the only one that fits really well. But that knife fits really good too. So, I mean, you could technically not put it. But I don't see any kind of storage space for those other ones. Um, moving on to the actual dinosaur. You've got the Triceratops. And surprisingly, it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, it feels a lot heavier than I expected it to. I've um, got some articulation in the mouth. The mouth does open. It's got good detail because you can actually see, if you guys can look, it's got like the uh, like the side of the jaws in there. So that's kind of cool. And the good articulation on the mouth. It opens really well, closes and stays. The paint job's great. Um, this thing doesn't want to stay on too well. Like it's supposed to snap in there, but it don't really snap in too well. But I mean, it does its purpose. Um, then you got like the netting and you've got, you know, it's not too bad. The legs... Don't move at all, though. The head doesn't move. The only thing that moves is this. So you could br drop your dude on there. I don't know if this will hold on or not. Let's see. Nah. So the hand you can put there, but it ain't necessarily going to stay on. Um, you're going to... He's not going to stay too well. But yeah, that's, that's what he looks like right there. Throw your dude on there. He can ride off into the uh, prehistoric wasteland to fight the uh, primal clash, if you will, I guess. But yeah, that is Triceratops. That is your dude. You got these three weapons. You can throw that on there. Like I said, he's got that gun up front, so that's kind of cool. But overall, a really nice figure. Like, I was really surprised mostly at the weight of the Triceratops. So it's really good. Like I said, it's like $14.96 at Walmart. It's a pretty cool figure. I dig it. But this is just the first one. So that is your Primal Clash Triceratops figure right there, Dino Commander. All right, next up we've got uh, the Mammoth. Once again, super heavy. But uh, we're going to start with the dude. Almost positive this is the bad guy because he's looking like he's straight out of Call of Duty Ghost. He's got that mask on, so I don't know. Um, he's got a gun on the front of his chest too. But like I thought with the previous guy, this guy actually doesn't have a removable gun it actually is part of the mold he comes with like a scoped looking like ar like battle rifle kind of thing with a little um like little handgun or with a little stock on the side you can grip so that's kind of cool and it actually snaps on so you can actually he can actually hold the gun like that that's kind of neat um he had a little pouch on the side with a slot and it surprised me because i didn't see any accessories but heads up if you buy this there is a gun accessory in there it's just super small um, so that does fit in there, I think. Yep. So that does fit in there. You can put his gun in the side there. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's just really small when it's in the package, so it's hard to see. But yeah, he's, he's actually pretty cool. Um, his legs and joints and everything are not as loose as the previous one. So he's, he's pretty solid. Like, I like this figure. This is a really good one. Um, same amount of articulation and everything. Um, he doesn't have, like, the extra accessories. The only accessories he has is this long gun and this little handgun. But, uh... His helmet's not removable either. I thought maybe it was. But yeah, he's actually a really cool figure. Um, but just not a lot to him like the other one had a lot. This one is the Mammoth. The Mammoth's pretty cool. Um, so I'm not going to take it off, but the mask here, it is removable. Um, it just snaps on and off on the side and it attaches to a strap. It's actually a real strap that goes around here. So that's a nice little bit of, little bit of extra right there. So it's actually a real strap that goes around. Same thing with... You know, this little piece right here, it actually is uh, is on there. It actually goes all the way around and snaps. Kind of slides in there, not really a snap. Um, it's got, like, these little guns back here. This one moves. This one, it moves, but it's just not as loose as the other one. It's pretty stiff. But, yeah, it's got little guns. No spots to hold anything. Legs don't move. Head don't move. Oh, wait, yeah. All right, so, yeah, the head does move up and down. So it's just very wonky. But uh, I mean, honestly, for this one to be as much as the Triceratops, 
it's kind of got a very basic paint job. The best part about it is this mask with the strap that goes around the ears. So that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, like it's not near, neither figure is near as detailed or in depth as the other, as the uh, Triceratops. Um, I mean, the horns are really cool. I mean, the, what do you call these tusks or whatever? I don't know what these are, whatever these are. Those are kind of cool and the weight is good. Um, he sits on there decently enough. I mean, it's a cool figure when paired beside the opened uh, Triceratops. And obviously the Triceratops is a little bit flashier, a little bit more to it. Size wise, I think this guy should be bigger, but they're about the same size. But uh, I mean, they're pretty cool. I like them. These are both of the commanders. These are the only commanders they have. I don't know if they're going to do multiple waves or if this is just it. But uh, but these guys are cool. I like them. These are the two commanders. Look good. Make sure you let me know what you guys think. But uh, yeah. We will uh, go ahead and start opening up the individual figures. And have some fun with them. Alright. So next up we've got... The Velociraptor. All right, the guy that comes with the Velociraptor, um, he's got two guns. Let's see, he's got this weird one. That has like a bayonet at the top, and I don't know what this is up here. I don't know, but it's unlike the other guns that I've seen. Um, he's also got one of these, which has like the little stock on the side like the other guy had. Um, the coolest thing he had, in my opinion, is right here on the side of his hip. He's got a little gun with a silencer. So that's pretty cool. And it like clips right in here. Let's see. There's like a little hole at the bottom of this holster for the silencer to go through. There we go. And it, it snaps in really good, like super tight. Like it's not going anywhere. So that's awesome. On the other side, he's got like a little holster with a little loop, if you guys can see that. And this has a an extra mag or clip for his gun. And it kind of fits in there really good. Um, there's nowhere to put it on the guns, so it's, it's just cosmetic for sure, but the character itself, the mold looks all right, the paint job's a little off, um, his legs are super, like, light, if that makes sense, they don't feel, there's no weight to them at all, they're very light, um, his hips, the hip joint is super loose, but, uh, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty decent character, it's, it's pretty cheap made, um, but the guns and the, the mag accessory really, really does it for me on this guy. Like, he's pretty cool because of that reason. Um, other than that, I don't, I mean, the, the character is not that great. Um, just his extra accessories make him kind of unique. But, uh, but, yeah, that's cool. Um, he comes with the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor's mouth opens. Um, the jaws and the, the articulation and everything is really good on him. Um, he's got like a muzzle with this little like holder thing that you can hold on to. The character can. He's got like an antenna or something too. Um, oh wow. It looks like there's little clips on the side here. I'll be able to clip his guns in there. Let's see. Alright, so his guns apparently can be clipped on the side. Let's try this. I'm assuming that's what these clips are for. Yeah. All right, so that's kind of cool. So his his extra guns can actually be stored on the side. And then he can be locked in there. And I think he can grip on the here. Let's see if his arm bends that way. Okay, yeah. I don't know. All right, so you gotta like really like bend him a weird way to get him to hold onto this. So yeah, there you go. So it's not bad. That's not bad at all. Like the way the character, the figure stands though is really odd. So that's how he stands. He's got like his front hands are part of like what needs to be held on. So he's kind of like got this leaned forward like look. Instead of it being like, in my opinion, how it should be like that, maybe. He's got to lean forward, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, the paint job, well, there goes that guy. The paint job on the Velociraptor itself is actually really good. Um, he's got, like, this stripe that kind of goes down, if you can see that, on both sides. Um, the lasso isn't removable, but it looks kind of neat. Um, the paint job on the legs and the tail look really good. 
The eyes look cool too, if you can see that. Like, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so let's throw our guy back up on here. He fell off. He doesn't hold on well at all to this, which is a bummer because it's cool that his his guns can actually snap on. I wish they would have did that with the rest of them. All right, so that's what he looks like beside some of the rest. All right, beside the trimetrodon, he sits a little taller. I wish he would have been more like that. But, uh, but I mean, pretty, pretty similar. Trimetrodon's a little heavier than this, but this is a leaner figure. So just kind of lined up beside like one of the Dino Commander figures. He's, uh, he's obviously noticeably smaller, but that's the point. So cool. So that is the Velociraptor figure. All right, so the last one that I have is what they call Titanus. Uh, we'll start with the little guy figure that comes with it. This is the guy that comes with Titanus. Uh, I believe he's another one of the good guys. He also has a mold on the front um, of a gun, but there is no, like, removable gun. Um, his mold looks very similar to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, so the mold on him, his torso mold... And I believe, yeah, so his complete mold, other than the helmet or the head, is the guy from uh, the Mammoth. So, like, they literally, it's just a different paint job, but literally same mold except for the head and the paint job. So, yeah, so he's got the same thing, man. You put you can put his handgun here in the cliff on the side. Um, the only thing that sets him apart, because he even has the same gun, with little stock. He has the same exact gun. It's a different color. It's gray instead of brown. But the only thing that sets him apart from that guy is he's got a crossbow. Um, with two arrows that go there. He's the only character that I see that I have that uh, that has that. So that's the only thing that sets him apart. So, I mean, it's cool he's got a crossbow. But literally, that's, that's all he's got. He's very generic and basic other than that. Um, no, when it comes to his dino, it's called a Titanus, is what they call it. So, the jaw hinges shut, opens, paint job's pretty good. Uh, he's got the lasso. The hair right here is like the coolest part of it, in my opinion. Um, he's got these little arms, but they're very cheap and all one color. Um, his hair is like kind of blended, so that's that's really nice. Um, I don't, I thought maybe that would fold out, but it literally doesn't. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I thought it was like a fold back chair, but it doesn't do anything. Um, let's see. So the mount that it's on it actually flips around and connects there. So that's kind of cool. Um, the mold on the feet look really nice. It's just all painted one color. Um, very light. This is a lot smaller than the rest of them. Um, for the most part, like thinner. I think he's gonna sit higher though but the the mold and the paint on the the hair and the head is like by far the best part about this this whole figure um this is probably the lamest of all of them to be honest that's the only thing that's kind of cool uh, let's see how his guy sits on here so he can hold on to his to that thing pretty well actually he sits on there very well so like yeah he's solid on that that's pretty cool um, he does sit very well on there. So matched up against like the Time Etrodon or whatever you call it. He does sit higher, um, which is good. I was hoping that's how the the Velociraptor would sit up higher like that, but he don't. He sits low, which is real weird. So paired up beside the other ones. Not bad. Not bad. Um, it's pretty cool. Throw the other big commander guys in here too. It's not a bad little set. Not bad. I dig it. So yeah, that is them. There is a saber tooth tiger. Um, and it looks like he comes with a guy with a big sword and like a Gatling gun, but I don't have him. That was the only one I couldn't find that they were out of. So uh, that's something we'll have to go back to when we find it. 
But yeah, it's a pretty decent set. Um, they're a budget set. You know, the bigger commandos, like I said, were $14.96. The smaller ones are $3.96. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. Not bad. I would uh, I would definitely say I recommend these figures, um, especially for the price. And I love, like I said at the beginning of the video, Dino Riders. So, yeah. I like them. I'm going to give them some thumbs up. So, check them out. They are, dun dun dun, Primal Clash, exclusively at Walmart. Guys, thank you so much for watching that video. It's the first of hopefully many toy videos, um, video game videos, you know, different kind of videos that I'm just gonna kind of go across because I'm into pretty much all this stuff, toys, video games, comics, movies, blah, blah, blah. Basically what I like, I'm gonna make a video of. Um, if you guys have any kind of requests you want me to do, hit me up, let me know. If you guys have products that you make, whether you're an indie music, indie comics, indie movies, uh, you make miniatures, whatever, just let me know. I'd love to take a look at them and make a video for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know any feedback that you guys have on the creation of this video, the editing of the video, the things I covered today, anything, any comments, suggestions, concerns, um, I'd love to hear it. So thank you guys so much. And till next time, thank you for visiting Bobby's Lobby. I don't know. I don't like that title. Cut it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see.